some sort of a guided forehead. Right. So I mean, you can see how the fins will change direction. It's not as sophisticated as it could be, but uh, it's pretty sophisticated. Yeah, it is. See the front end? And I got about uh, 36, 38 of them right here. Is it made where Chinese, or do you know what? I think a lot of this stuff is Russian. Russian? Most of it's... Uh, but that's called a stinger man. Push the, little pull button, it out of the push the little button forward on the side and then pull it forward. He's got one in this hand, yeah. But that's just the firing mechanism. This is just, just the, the tube. tube. Yeah. There's a fire mechanism that hooks here. I have several of them, but uh, I separated them. So that if they did get in the wrong hands, they wouldn't be able to It's use a shoulder-mounted thing, right? Roger. And so here's the sight. It's a real simple sight, too. There's nothing to it. You just point it and shoot it, pretty much. With the thing in there, yeah, it ain't something you can carry. No. Back here for the kitchen, this thing, I got the booby trap. The, uh, whatever they make you think of, they set up. First thing, I don't know if they set it up for us, or they set it up for their own people. Blasting cap in, a uh, small charge from a 9 volt battery. Let's set all these things off. Get the books. They rig, these, out. they rig these books up to blow up. So they put like C4 type stuff in here? Yes, yes. And then they'll glue the timer. You can set it and leave it. That uh, just waits for whoever's there when it goes off. Radios that explode. Powder here. You see the orange powder around the edges. That's this real dangerous this, powder. Yeah, it, explosive powder. Yes, it uh, you need, it takes a, a light of ignite to ignite yeah. it. But on an air cleaner. So you can see where they line the inside of it. Lined with explosives on the inside. Mm -hmm. The thing about the air filter is a lot of old cars it sits right on the carburetor. Yeah. Right on the carburetor, so that'll take the whole car out with just a little charge. Right. Stuff. Yeah, uh, really. I mean, just boxes of stuff. You can see some mines. I think I've touched them. Uh, no. Mines. And this is just mines more for wire. a little dark down in there, but yeah, I can leave that. Build over this. This out uh, here is it's called dead corn. This core is uh, filled with explosives. Two cores. You could wrap this up. Just a little bit of this stuff up. Wrap it up into a thing like that. 
and it'll it'll make a hell of an explosion. Really? Yeah. That that right there will take this building up if it went up. It Man, takes a compressed a... charge though from the blasting cap. And this is just one warehouse. I got uh, I got tons of stuff. See, it's like aluminum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That'll make a mess. I mean, that's just filled with C4. Yeah. C4 kind of like clay. I have yeah. some. I'll show it to you. Yeah. In the other bar. And here I got grenades, RPGs, mortars, small arms. What are these? What's a shell like that? That's an artillery round. They have uh, the suitcases. Special forces bring them in. I didn't touch them. They said that they, uh, some of them were lined, not with explosives, but with poison. They just touch, stick your fingers or something. It, uh, they, they come and check them out, said they're clear, but uh, I ain't touching them. No. I'll tell you that much. There's a lot of them. It's just so good. Yeah. Similar, yeah, she's about 50, 60 caliber. I don't know. I got some. The other thing you just got a lot for uh, any eye check. So plastic explosive, just yep. solidly packed in there, which seems like a lot of it to me. Yeah. Where did you find booby-trapped stuff? They bring that stuff into me. So you don't actually know where it no, sir. comes from? No, sir. There's a lot of it, though. Yeah. scale of the room. Take a look this way and then take a look the other way. If you want, we can get them on the wall back there and up on top of the box. Yeah. Take a look at that and take a look down in. That way too. Yeah. And here's what they're supposed to. 
But this has to be serious to a tank or anything. Well, yeah, you're right, Kate. If it's close mm -hmm. enough, it'll it'll do damage on a tank. If this does, it throws every piece of metal you see there gets thrown in shrapnel. And if you're within 100, 150 meters of this, there's a good chance you're going to take shrapnel. Shrapnel is just a nasty thing. Raise yeah. your shark. Yeah. Jordan Armed Forces, on Jordan. Mm -hmm. Jordan, Russia. I don't see anything unless it's Syria on it. A lot of this stuff they said uh, talking to. Uh, Iraqi people that work, I work with. Now, I understand that most of them were soldiers. Probably ninety percent of the guys that I work with out here are uh, were soldiers once. Yeah. They uh, they tell me that most of the stuff came from Russia. Mm -hmm. Back back in the eighties and seventies. Right. So I mean, and even it's hard Jordan, to say. there was legal. They could legally buy stuff from Jordan up until right. about eighty nine. Okay, so I bet you that's so where that comes it's from. not unheard of that that's where that would be. The big weapons, Jordanian, see? I'm sure out of the 80s. That's a big mortar round, 120 millimeter. That's a big, big mortar round. Not liftable mortar round. I can get it out of there. Something to work out with. Yeah. Just curls. Yeah. These jokers here, they go a lot, they get better range than their small ones. And more explosive power. Yes, yes. I mean, that's got to be drastic explosive mm -hmm. when it comes out. Yeah, it'll make a mess, whatever, whatever it's by. Are none of these things particularly dangerous as they sit? I mean, they all have to be fired, or they all have to be no. fused, or they have to, you know, something. They don't just, they don't sit dangerously around, do they? Yes and no. If you take this pin out, like I have a lot like this just laying around. And uh, from the transport, if you drop them, yeah, you would be in there. Dropping them out of a car, yeah, a truck. Dropping them or uh, just standing here and letting it go. Yeah. Things like that. They're dang everything's dangerous, but uh, harmless sitting here. Right. It's harmless sitting here. But I mean, is this so much you couldn't even blow it up as a, you know, if you need to destroy it, blow it up? This is too much to it would blow take up. A lot of time. I mean, this would take, you'd have to do it a little bit at a time. Mm -hmm. And, and even then, you're having thunderous explosions, I mean, to. Yeah, you blow up a lot of ground. So a lot of this will be kept for, we think, legitimate Iraqi future forces. That's what that's what the colonel was telling us today. That'd be nice. Yeah. Is is seems to be the case for a lot of them. Rather than just annihilating the whole thing, you know, they're trying to get it into the right hands. Dust it off, or you can't be Yeah. In these, nothing was in the warehouse, right? No, these, these were completely empty. These used to be, uh, we got four stables. I think these were uh, used for uh, feed, hay, straw, hmm. sawdust. That's a, some sort of uh, big dog machine gun, too. Yeah. It's a good thing they walked away from all this. A real good thing. Good message. Yeah. 
was already messy, it would have been messier. Yes. Yeah. Sure it works. This is the charge for it. This is the charge for it. Yeah. See it? Most times charges come in their own thing for tank rounds. Yeah. But uh, this one has its own special charge. I mean, this is this is her, I think this is the cream of the crop. Yeah. David Jackson. Nice to meet you. I'm Jason. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Well, it's a car load, all right. This is really, I still don't know. Well, they don't know what they're going to do with it. I've had so. hundreds of trucks in here. Yeah. Every day. This, today's the first day in two weeks that I haven't had trucks in here. Okay. Because it's a holiday. Right. They were last week.